Hi guys, welcome to my video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, this blue screen of death uh, error that we get on Windows 10 machines. Uh, so every time you turn on your machine it will crash and it will show this screen and down the bottom here it will have this error code 0 times c 21 a um, it will happen every single time you turn on your machine, so you won't even be able to boot into the Windows 10 desktop. Um, but don't worry guys, I've got an easy way to fix this issue. Um, I've actually documented it on my website here, which I'll include on the description of the YouTube video. Um, so if I just quickly take you through what to do. Uh, we'll get this error because... Um, one or two system files will be corrupted or missing or it's possible that a third party software, another bit of software that you've installed has actually overrode these files and that's what causes the system not to boot. So what we need to do is, I've actually got Windows 10 installed here on Oracle VM. Uh, what we need to do is put your Windows 10 install DVD into your computer and boot to it. If you don't have a DVD drive, what you can do is, if you go to Google, you just Google Windows 10 ISO, uh, go to this Microsoft uh, download link, and if you download the tool here, it's only about 15 megabytes. Uh, if you run the tool, select Create Installation Media, uh, click Next, uh, select these options. I'm just going to leave them default. Uh, USB flash drive. So if you've got a flash drive in your machine, what it will do is it will download the Windows 10 ISO. It will make that USB drive bootable. So you can then reboot your machine with the uh, USB in the drive and boot to there. So if I just reboot this machine, uh, you'll get a prompt to press any key. So I've just pressed enter. What it's going to do now is it's going to reboot, or sorry, it's going to boot to some tools that we can use to fix this issue. So just select the options again, next. If you click on repair your computer down the bottom here, Uh, click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options. Now we've got many tools here. What I like to do first of all is go to the command prompt and I like to run this command. So what this does is it's doing what's known as a check disk. It's basically checking all of the files on your computer and it's checking to see whether they're corrupted and if they are it will fix the corruption it will also check for bad sectors and if it finds bad sectors it will recover files that are on that bad sector so this is a good command to start with because this will not make any changes to your machine at all hopefully it will find that one of the system files is corrupted it will fix it and if we just close this down and then if you just restart your machine, uh, fingers crossed, it will boot to the desktop. If not, repeat this process, so boot to the DVD or the USB drive that we've just set up. Click on troubleshooting again, advanced options. Then if you click on startup repair, and then select Windows 10. If you just follow the prompts, what this will do is it will basically look at all of the sort of startup processes within Windows 10. It will find any issues and it will resolve them. So if you just run that tool, let it finish, reboot, and again, hopefully you'll get to the desktop. If not, come back into here, uh, go to command prompt, another command we're going to run is this so this is similar to the startup repair but it's it's a different program so if you run that 
this again checks all of the sort of startup processes in Windows 10. If it finds any problems, again, it's going to fix it. It's a different tool to the one that we ran before, so hopefully this tool will find something that the previous tool didn't. Uh, so again, let that finish. Reboot your machine, fingers crossed, it will boot to the desktop. If that doesn't fix it, another thing we can do is there's another command that we can run. Yeah. Sorry, here it is. Yep. So from the command prompt, if you just type this in, what this will do is this will check all of the Windows updates and service packs that are installed on your Windows 10 machine. It's possible that when an update was installed, it corrupted a file or it's not installed properly. So what this does is it checks every single update if it's installed correctly. Uh, if not, it will fix it. So hopefully that again will fix a problem for us. I'm just going to exit out of this now. So again, reboot your machine after that scan has finished. Uh, again, if it doesn't fix, another thing we can try is... Yeah, this one, system image recovery. So hopefully there'll be an image from before that we can restore yeah I've only just installed Windows 10 on this machine so there's not going to be a previous image that we've we've got uh, but what you can do is come in here hopefully there'll be a previous image that you can uh, select and restore and that will make your machine bootable again okay that's all the steps that I've, I've got. Um, I'll be very interested if you can let me know how you get on with these tips. Um, thank you very much.